Early voting starts Monday in Georgia. The state has some of the most hotly contested races in the country. All right, so from the rematch between Governor Brian Kemp and Stacey Abrams to a Senate race that could tip the balance of power in Washington. News for Jackson reporter Aaron Farrar is joining us now live. And Aaron, election officials hope to clear up any confusion before people head to the polls. The state's elections director sent out a bulletin earlier this week, and in it, it suggested that people would be able to challenge another voter's eligibility in person at the time of voting. But Georgia Secretary sent out this correction last night that says, hey, that is not the case. Instead, any challenge must be made in writing and must be filed with the Board of Registrars. From there, it will review the challenge. So far this year, the group Fair Fight Action estimates about 80,000 voters have been challenged. The group says challenges have disproportionately implicated people of color in at least one suburban county. Most of those challenges have been dismissed. However, about 3,000 of them have been upheld. Those have led to either the registrations being canceled or voters being placed in a challenged status, which means their ballots are going to be reviewed to determine if they will count or not. There is another change that voters need to be aware of when it comes to early voting starting on uh, Monday in Georgia. Cell phones cannot be used inside the polling locations. They can't be seen. Also, voters cannot take pictures of their ballots inside the polling locations as well. Reporting live, I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, The Local Station.